want to build mobile apps in a matter of minutes. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you now. Uh, it all works in a web browser. Okay, so this is the design studio, development studio. You can add views, that's a representation of what it's going to look like on the phone. You can add various different widgets, it's all drag and drop. Coding is done in JavaScript because it's building a hybrid mobile, uh, hybrid uh, web-based mobile apps. So it's all the applications are all HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. Send that off uh, to the phone gap build service because it's using phone gap build in the back. And if you uh, if you're logged in with your mobile, you can actually use that QR code there if you're logged in with the same account, and you can actually just preview it straight away, and you don't have to wait for it to build. Uh, it should take less than a couple of minutes to finish building that, and then we also have. Uh, the ability uh, to use other widgets, not just the widgets that we've built. Uh, we've, we've got an open marketplace where developers can build their own widgets, they can put the widgets into the marketplace, and they might be widgets that people have built entirely themselves, or they might be built uh, from other toolkits. But for example, these ones we've got ads for down the side here, they're all from the jQuery mobile widgets. wanted to install one of them, basically click on it, have a look, you decide what you want for that widget, you hit the install button, and then it will be installed up here, and you can take it and you can put it into your application and use it just the same as any of the other widgets. And then, oh, I just don't want to finish it anyway. Uh, all the uh, all the platforms are moving towards uh, better support for native HTML5 applications. So in the future, what we're going to see is uh, PhoneGap becoming irrelevant because you'll be able to build these apps and deploy them just straight to the phone and have the HTML application. So what I've got there.
any of you who want can actually test that out if you've got, uh, if you've got an Android phone. working on this at the moment and we've broken the preview. And I'm just going to rebuild that again. Hopefully when it rebuilds the second time it will actually work. And I'll try and download it again. But how hard are you releasing that? So we uh, we had the alpha version online. Uh, we've taken that down in preparation for the uh, for the private beta. If you go to the website, which is appmo.de you can actually sign up for the private beta and have access to it as soon as it's available. We're looking to have a public beta version available by, I think, the 20th of September, uh, when we'll be pitching in the UK for investment, and we'll have a private beta available before then. So uh, you're all welcome to sign up and, uh, and have a look at it as soon as it's available. And, uh, yeah, right now, we're, uh, as I said, actively working on it and uh, actively breaking it. This page was actually completely redesigned for that. And how many people are you? That's a question. How many people are you? Uh, there's myself. I've got a co-founder who's just started in the UK, or just starting in the next couple of weeks. And we've got an intern who started a couple of weeks ago and is working hard to break things uh, on a daily basis. Uh, I have a question. Uh, if you want to change a style for a button, are you actually coding CSS or are you doing uh, some other way? Okay, it depends on the widget, right? Uh, because there's just there's a standard set of widgets that we put in, uh, which are very basic. And to give you an example, this button widget that I've got here, if you want to change the width of that, change the width to... So you can see it. So, so you actually don't know about CSS and nothing. No, you else. don't need any CSS for that. So in this one, you've just got a few properties, and those properties you can go in and you can change uh, in the property browser. Uh, to give you a different example, this is uh, jQuery Mobile button. And for anyone that's worked with jQuery Mobile, they know uh, you know that there's uh, theme swatches, swatches uh, which are numbered or lettered A through to whatever. And for those, if you want to change the color theme, you just go in and you change that property to whatever you want. So it will depend on the widget and who built it and how they built it. And that's something that's really powerful about it because of the open marketplace and so many people can put different widgets in there. You should always be able to find widgets that work in the way that you're comfortable working. So if you're more comfortable with CSS, then it you might go looking for widgets that you can actually uh, change a lot of the style yourself with CSS. If you're less comfortable, then you might go for widgets that don't involve the CSS. If you use jQuery in the past, you can use jQuery mobile widgets. So it's really, really flexible. Uh, what we're concentrating on is the core system uh, and the community and the marketplace, rather than concentrating on building the widgets. Because we're only a small team. No matter how big we grow, there's a limit to how many widgets we can produce and, and how many high quality widgets we can produce. So the idea is we let the community build those widgets. Uh, the system itself is free. It will always be free. Uh, it will always be free to use our, our core set of widgets. Uh, developers
sellers in the marketplace, they can put their, uh, their widgets in there for free, or they can put them in there for a charge. So you'll have, always be able to build applications for free, but you may also be able to save yourself a lot of time, uh, and in the end, save yourself money by 